Hey everybody, this is John with Rugged Cams. In today's video, what I'm going to do is show you what to do if you come in and discover that your PTZ still has good video, um, obviously good power, but you've got no control from your joystick controller. Um, and you can use some of these same principles to test if you're using the DVR for control, and you discover that you've lost control through your you know, network or DVR's PTZ control. So first thing that we want to check, especially with these joystick controllers, is that your camera ID hasn't changed. 90% of the time it's because, you know, we, we move the joystick controller around, somebody matched some buttons. So what you do is you just get it lit up and you're going to look and see, you know, what the camera's protocol, baud rate, and ID. Like I said, most often than not, it's your ID. If it's the only PTZ you've got, its ID would be 1. So if you see cam ID is somewhere around 50 or so, this is pretty easy. Just press your 1 and cam button. And then, you know, test manipulate. See if you've regained control. If you have, good, that was easy. If not, it comes down to we need to get our meter out and test the controller. Same thing with the DVR, just to make sure that we see on our DC scale. I've set it to the 20 volt DC side. And what we're going to do is meter out that RS-485 directly from the back side of the controller. We just stick our leads across here. And what you should be looking for is anywhere from, you know, 0.5 volts to 0.33 volts, what we see on the meter there. This is basically our carrier signal. You know, if you see it, chances are the controller's not the problem. Go ahead and manipulate it. And you'll see that voltage start jumping around. We don't need to make sense of it. We just need to see that that's happening. So if we see this from the back side of our controller or our DVR, we know that that's probably not the issue. Maybe it's cable from controller to PTZ. You come out to the field side, here we've just got it temped up, and you can just meter across it and see we've got that same 0.3 something volts. Um, if we have that same voltage at the, you know, the PTZ side, then the cable's not the issue. If the ID and cable's not the problem, it's got to be the PTZ. At that point, you guys just give us a call, we'll run it through the warranty check and see about issuing an RMA bringing it back. Pretty much the same thing with the DVR. Um, like I said, just a quick rundown on what to check for if you've lost control of your PTZ. Um, and as always, if you get jammed up or none of this works, you, you still think you need some help, you can always just give us a call, man. That's what we're here for.